sisters and brothers, world leaders sitting there, look up because the future generation is raising their voice. Today, we are 193 young people representing billions more. Each Lenten we hold represents the hope we have for our future because of the commitments you have made to the global goals. Three years have passed since this historic moment and 12 years remain to deliver on the promise made. Around the world, governments, civil society, businesses, academia, and many others are taking action to help fulfill this blueprint for a better world. Uh, the 2030 Agenda is a plan of action for people, planet, and prosperity. So if the countries really embrace the 2030 Agenda, they really have their plan. So the most important thing is to look at their national plans, and that's what they have been doing. And I think what is really important, and a lot of countries are becoming increasingly aware of that, that their actions are not only their national actions, they don't stop at their boundaries. I mean, if you think of anything, if you think about oceans, about climate, about pollution in general, disasters, it doesn't stop at the border. The engagement shows great potential, but the progress is still slow on many of the goals. So, how can the UN help? The Department of Economic and Social Affairs is an important contributor to these global efforts. With its expertise, it can provide important assistance to member states, making the goals a reality on the ground. I think the first thing we have to realize about Agenda 2030 is that it is really an agenda that covers all of the world, a lot of people in it, and therefore the entire effort to achieve it has to be a multi-stakeholder one. And so it is in this context that the UN plays a role, and an important one, but part of that role is also to mobilize the efforts by other stakeholders so that they can go in the same direction. And people who want to contribute and who want to take the world forward on this path find the right way to do so. Many of the initiatives inspired by the global goals are already bearing fruit, but we need many more and we need them faster. We see a lot of mobilization around the SDG agenda. We see uh, governments trying to bring um, different ministries, actors, and uh, different kind of mandates together to work through it. And we see the UN system working very hard, both at the country level and at the secretariat level, like DESA, to push all these processes forward. We haven't quite reached the stage where we can see concrete outcomes from these actions. So for example, the area being protected under marine biodiversity areas is increasing. That is a good thing. But at the same time, the rate of biodiversity loss is alarming. In recent times, hunger trends are on the upswing. The rate at which we make progress towards reducing maternal mortality is not fast enough to reach the target there is a sense of urgency to all of this. And uh, we need to act together quite urgently to make sure that the actions we are taking translate into concrete results and reach the goals that we have set ourselves. This is our chance to leave a permanent legacy to our children and grandchildren. A better world and a healthy planet for everyone.